in your own research, um, you looked at three series from Netflix. Um, these were Santa Clarita Diet, uh, Orange is the New Black, and Insatiable. And I remember that in the first uh, in the first one, the translator changed between the seasons. In the second uh, title, Orange is the New Black, uh, there were two modes of translation prepared by different professionals, which often happens. We have subtitling, uh, we have dubbing. Uh, there's also the issue of how consistent uh, these two modes are in terms of terminology use. In some countries, there might be other modes, such as the, the lector dubbing or voiceover. Um, and in the third one, um, Insatiable, uh, if I remember correctly, there were at least four translators, four subtitles who worked on one season, on different episodes of one season. Uh, what impact did all of this have on, on the consistency of these subtitles that you analyzed uh, on Netflix? Mm, it's a little bit more complex than that because there was also communication or lack of communication in each of the cases. In the first case, in Santa Clarita Diet, a new translator stepped in. To the, the One translator did the first two seasons and a different translator stepped in to, to do season three. And uh, these two translators communicated with one another. And so from personal communication, I know that uh, I think the, the the translator who stepped in, it's a lady, and she, I don't think she, if I remember correctly, she didn't watch the entire thing. She just watched a few episodes to get the feel of, uh, of the language, and she knew what the story was all about. And as she translated, she would ask questions to the uh, to the previous translator what did you do with this and that so that helps a lot the the material was very consistent um i think it would be impossible to realize that a translator the new translator stepped in uh, it was the the transition was very seamless in the second case where um, there was voiceover and subtitles, and these were done by two people working independently of one another. Uh, there were serious errors, serious, I mean, serious diversions, maybe let's call it this way. Uh, first of all, in the language, Orange is a prison show, so the characters speak prison jargon a lot, which was neutralized in the subtitles, but retained in the voiceover. So if you watch the if you watch Orange with the voiceover on, it more it feels more kind of prisony, so to say, because all the characters speak the jargon. And then if halfway through the show, for instance, you switch to its subtitles for some reason, all of a sudden all the characters speak this, you know, beautiful, proper, correct Polish that's kind of not in line with their backgrounds, with the situation, with the story. Uh, on screen and there were also some um, issues with proper names like a, a secondary character is named differently in the voiceover than in the subtitles and recurring pieces of terminology you know things being constantly referenced throughout the show and that stemmed from maybe lack of communication between these two uh, teams of people and then insatiable, well, uh, first of all, mm, there were these consistency issues like with the letter. Uh, there were some other blunders that, that all of a sudden, you know, uh, something is recalled in a later episode, something is recalled what happened earlier. And it's completely different to what actually happened before because the that particular translator did not see uh, that episode. And also what's interesting is that um, some linguistic features like humor, humor, for instance, it's a comedy show, fluctuated. So some, it turned out some translators were better at retaining humor than others. And uh, as a result, some episodes were funnier than, than the others. Although, you know, in the original, the kind of maybe level of humor is more or less constant. And, uh, and that can be another thing like that, you know, 
any linguistic features, any aspects that are, again, not the story, the plot, you know, events A, B, C, D, but all the flavor or the language color, this can fluctuate because translators have different aptitudes. Some translators are good at translating comedies, other maybe are better at documentaries and some, you know, genres that are maybe more strict, maybe more factual and less, I don't know, playful. And if you mix these, these translators in a project, this is bound to show. 